So, I mean, this would be like the first general mock-up. How do you feel about making one of the A's the actual cherry? Oh, that would work better. How's yeah. that? That's cool. So we'll Plus, it'll take up less space. Yeah, we'll scrap this guy, and we'll do another one real quick. Each of my tattoos have a meaning. I never want to get a tattoo without a meaning. The first one is for my cancer. It's two elephants making the cancer symbol. And this one on my forearm is two doves facing each other. It's based off um, a jewelry box I have for my grandmother who passed away when I was 10. The one on my ribs is just a stencil of a polar bear. It's my favorite animal and I think I'm like a polar bear because they look so cute and cuddly, but they actually are so like introverted because they don't see other polar bears um, that they will attack any other polar bear they see. <laughs> so I think I'm the same way with humans. Shana's like a polar bear because you know she's cute and she she seems very sweet, but she can just devastate you. She's ferocious with one swipe. <laughs> <laughs> How many tattoos do you have? One big one. Just one massive. <laughs> yeah. At it, this point, I've never. Did it start out that way? Um, no, I got my first tattoo on my 18th birthday. My mom wasn't very happy about it, but it's a lot more acceptable now than it used to be yeah. back then. So. That's how my mom is. My mom's like, well, you're you're tiny, and you already curse, and you already drag attention to you, and now you're gonna get a tattoo, and people are gonna stare at you and point at it, and I'm like, but I want it. I think my first tattoo was a connection to independence in a way, setting my personality almost with my mom because I had to convince her that it was going to be okay even though it's on a childlike body that I understand I might get judgment, but I've gotten judgment my entire life, so why can't I do what I want to do? Um, how do you like the idea of something like that? I do like that sketch. Um, where's... You want to see the first one? Yeah. Right, Honestly, right if I could just take this home and show it to my parents, because it is for my mother at the end of the day, because it is her dad. Gotcha. Take this, show it to your family, and if you have any questions or anything that you want me to do or change, whatever, just let me know. I'm open to changing it, and it's all about you, you know? Mm -hmm. I'll walk you out. You want a t-shirt? Sure. I'll take free stuff. <laughs> Every person presents themselves with a different set of complexities, but her willingness to verbalize what she does and doesn't want allows me to really get a good handle of what's actually possible with her anatomy. She's not asking for anything that's hard to do or would complicate anything at all, so she, she's good. I can't wait to do it. When you figure out what you want to do, let me know. Yep, I'm sure we will see you in the future. Well, I'll walk you out, I'll give you a card, and you can give us a call. Thank you. The tattoo consultation with Big Joel went very well. I do plan on coming back soon for my tattoo. I also plan on taking my mother to get this tattoo. She's not the biggest fan of my tattoos, but it's for her, so I hope she'll change her mind. <laughs>